time for a struggle challenge. Let's see what you got for me today. I'm a college student on a student budget. Between classes, track practice, and my job, I basically don't have any time to cook for myself, so I need a quick dinner that's better than my go-to protein bars, taking suggestions, and oh yeah, I only have one pan, L-O-L-T-T-Y-L-B-R-B. I don't think we're gonna have a problem doing something in a single pan. It's really gonna be about the ingredients that you have on hand, so let's see what you got in the fridge. Woo! Spinach, uh, iceberg, ham, bread, tortilla, we got eggs, and we got milk. Oh my God, I have such a good idea. We're gonna be completely ridiculous and um, copy something that I saw on the internet. We're gonna make a ham, egg, cheese sandwich in one pan. We can put a little spinach in it, egg, cheese. That's it, there's our sandwich, boom. Let's see if we can do this in 15 minutes. We better get started. All right, we got a pan. Let's get the fire on the pan. Look, we're putting some ham in the pan. Just ham straight into the pan so that it mimics the taste of bacon. Eggs. I think two, three. All right, so I'm scrambling some eggs up. Let's grate some cheese. One pan, no toaster. We are in shape, friends. Our ham is gonna go right here. Let's do some spinach real quick. A little oil, a little spinach. Again, you could skip this step, not a problem. Doesn't bother me. So we got some spinach, great. Okay, cool. Spinach. We're gonna take bread and we're gonna toast it right here in our pan like this. I'm toasting my bread because this is an opportunity to make it structurally more sound, but also toasted bread tastes better. You see that right there? Those are two nicely toasted pieces of bread. Let's take a little bit of butter here. All right, so now, I'm just trying to create some texture here. Okay, now, check it out, check it out. We're putting cheese on top of the egg, like this, okay? We're now taking our bread and putting it right here. I want the bread to start becoming part of the top of this egg. I don't know if I did this right. The whole thing is upside down. That's the problem. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna have to flip it and hope for the best. Ah! Okay, very nice. Let's get that spinach in there, like this, right here. And the side folds up, and this side folds up, and this whole thing comes up and over. And look at that! Holy smokes! Oh, I forgot the ham. Unfold. Get back over here. Ham. 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 Now this comes up and over, and we have an egg sandwich. Ready for this? Plate. There it is, folks. We got six minutes to spare. Win, 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 win. We got an egg sandwich that we only needed one pan to make. No toaster, no multiple things cooking separately. Barely even needed a tool to get this thing together. I was basically in there with my fingers and folding it and flipping and things like that. In the world of egg sandwiches, I think it looks pretty good. So I give it an eight on looks. Really yummy. It needs ketchup though. But really, perfectly balanced egg sandwich with ketchup, Mm. It's a 10 on flavor. The bread is perfectly toasted. The egg is perfectly cooked, still moist, but cooked all the way through. The cheese is melty. The ham is just the right amount of hamminess. I like the spinach in there. It cuts through all that richness. And then when you dip it into the ketchup, game over. Delicious. This was fun. I don't think I'm ever gonna use my toaster again. Thank you for this challenge.